Aloha, I'm Kelee Aquino, president of the Grassroot Institute. The most recent version of Rich States, Poor States has been released, and once again, Hawaii ends up on the wrong end of that title. The annual Alec Laffer State Economic Competitive Index measures economic growth and ranks the economic outlook of all 50 states based on 15 different policy variables from tax rates to labor and regulation. As a general rule, states that spend less and tax less, especially productive activities like investment and work, will rank higher in economic outlook. In 2017, Hawaii slid even further toward the bottom, coming in at a low 43 rating. Although the state reached a personal best of 36 overall in 2014, Hawaii has since been regressing. Uh, this year's ranking is one lower than last year and the worst since 2012. Unsurprisingly, our tax and labor policies were the biggest drag on the ranking. Hawaii's sales tax burden ranked worst in the country, accounting for $47.43 per $1,000 of personal income. The top marginal personal income tax rate ranked 42, and while the property tax ranking remains good, 10th overall, uh, the remaining tax burden was at 46, accounting for $27.99 out of $1,000 of personal income. Well, of course, we don't have to continue the downward trajectory of the last several years. When Alec released Rich States, Poor States, the report was accompanied by quote after quote from politicians across the country. All of them testify to the fact that they depend on the guidance of surveys like this one to formulate policies that will make their state more competitive. In other words, they use best practices. Unfortunately, our policymakers seem slow to catch on to this. Uh, this year's legislative session featured a proposal to increase the minimum wage by more than a third. We're already ranked 38 as it is, uh, not to mention numerous tax increases, including one that would put a property tax directly in the Constitution itself. There's no mystery about what we have to do to increase our state's economic competitiveness. The first step is to stop the downward trend by putting an end to tax and spend governance. After riding the ship, we can cut taxes and encourage growth by reducing red tape and increasing a business-friendly environment. You see, all around the country, states are using this report as a best practices guide for how to move from a poor state to a rich one. Well, Hawaii can make that change as well, if only we have the fortitude to enact the right policies. I'm Kili'i Akina with the Grassroot Institute. Aloha.